<laughs> okay, so how do you feel? <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> Is this your first tattoo? Yes. And I'm just getting nervous. <laughs> like I want to look at the image again. <laughs> And uh, I think it's weird that you have to prepare <laughs> for pain <laughs> because normally when you do, um, you're going somewhere like you don't know that you're going to be in pain. Like pain always happens sudden, right? But now I'm <laughs> just I don't know how to prepare for pain. <laughs> and also it's like it's going to be here. I was like, okay, so this is the last time I can actually look at my arm and there's nothing there. So it feels, I feel the gravity, like the, I feel the gravity of the permanence. Like once we go and we come back, I won't be the same person again. Like literally, physically, I know every day we have that as a person. But now it's physically visible. So the pain aspects, I don't know how to prepare for it, and the permanent, the gravity of the, the permanent aspect is a bit <laughs> making me a bit nervous. Like, what if I don't like it, or what if maybe I'll do it, and then after one thing, I'm like, I can't do this, and then there's half, or not even half, like one stripe. <laughs> you have to explain that for the rest of your life that you chickened out of a tattoo. <laughs> All that's going to my head. So I'm a bit nervous. It's your first and it's also a, a tattoo, a couple's tattoo. Yeah, but oh yeah, okay, that's for sure. <laughs> we were just talking about that. So that's two levels of permanence. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, I mean, we do it because we want to celebrate or honor like one year of marriage. And of course, marriage is forever. But it's not written on your body, but now we're gonna write it on our body. So it's like a different level of commitment. Like, literally, I'm wearing it. Well, that's actually not true because you have a ring, of course. But that you can take off, okay. So this is, you can never take off. Which is also a level of permanence, yes. Which is exciting, but also scary. But that's the least one I'm worried about. I'm more worried about the pain and not being able to go through with it and whether I'll like it like what if I don't like it but I think I'll like it because we've thought about it for a long time this has not happened on a whim this happened through a lot of processes yeah okay so we're gonna get ready in a bit and uh, the appointment is at 12 and uh, we'll do an after yeah. of how we feel about it all right. Yes. When it comes to the expression of romantic love, getting tattoos usually comes off as one of the least favorite acts to perform. I mean, there were even warnings on the wall. However, this is for us and we're happy with it. Whichever way you choose to honor something or someone, it's entirely up to you. And this will always be a part of our journey together. If you haven't seen my previous video on the process of getting a tattoo, I'll leave a link in the description box below as well as on the screen. In the next couple of minutes, I'll be showing you the process as it happens till finish. So, enjoy.
Okay, so it's been um, about four days since we did the tattoo and it's healing at the moment. This is where it gets all crinkled up and maybe starts to peel off in the next few days. And what we're doing is aftercare for about two weeks till it's all fine and then... But for me, this is like my... Let me see how many I have. Two, three, four, five... It's like my Sith tattoo, so... I'm okay with the aftercare and everything, but I'm gonna ask Elaine what she also thinks about the whole process and how she has to take care of it after I finish talking. But in terms of the symbol of um, having this tattoo, this matching tattoo, something we've talked about or something we discovered together and decided we wanted to take it up after one year of marriage. And so this is something we decided to do just in case you're wondering how permanent this is and we've thought about it, we've decided and we want to do it because the symbol means a lot to us than the act of not, you know, doing something like this with your spouse. So that's why we did it and I'm happy with how it came out, I'm happy with my tattoo and I'm looking forward to more. Yeah. It was painful, yes. It was like somebody was drilling, burning and cutting inside my skin but I managed to look at one point and just focus on it and he goes back and forth with the ink so he's not constantly on your skin so when he's getting the ink you can actually take a breath and kind of you know relax and then when he starts again you know okay he's starting again next set so you just have to breathe through it honestly so my yoga practice came in very handy um, which was funny uh, I couldn't I didn't really felt like talking when I was talking a lot to me when he was when I was sitting there and I was just like I don't want to talk I just want to like breathe and just let it see happening and first I didn't look at it how he was doing it but then later i was like okay yes i can look so it was how you say it was fine and it feels like it was it's been there forever like when it's when i was looking it was like oh you know it's it makes sense it it's supposed to be there um so that so the first thing that came off was like joy um after the after he was done so that was a good feeling and i didn't expect it i was like you know you maybe cannot like it and then you're screwed but for me luckily i liked it and i also liked it that Kwame has the same thing and that it means for us um, for honoring our one year of marriage and that this is something we want to do it did feel a bit cheesy that we have the same tattoo but we we talked about that a lot and this is what we wanted, so I liked it. Yeah. And aftercare, you just have to put some some special cream and try not to scratch it. It will prickle a bit, but I think it's doable. And yeah, you just tell people about it, or people see it. Um, I already had my boss say say goodbye to corporate. <laughs> Because I had the tattoo, but I think it's very subtle and it's not so much out there. Like it's not like a tattoo in my face or my neck or anywhere too big. So I don't think that's really true. But uh, yeah, I like it. And I already have three ideas for a new tattoo, so that's what's going to come soon. But I want this one to heal first before I go into the next one to fully understand the process. Yeah. Good. Okay.